the media doing its best to associate President Trump with the market sell-off. Brent Bozell, Media Research Center guy, joins us now. What have you seen, Brent? Tell us about it. Well, you know, it, it, there, there's a sell-off. It is news. And, of course, the media are going to blame Donald Trump. Now, if you're going to say that Donald Trump is responsible for the sell-off, then it's only fair to say that Donald Trump is also responsible for where the market is today. If you look at where the market was when he came to office and where it is today, it even after the sell-off, it is still doing extraordinarily well. How about this number? We looked at how many, start, from the start of, of his presidency, how many record highs the Dow has hit. We counted 81. How many of those 81 hits were covered by the news media? 13. Mm -hmm. That means 75 of the record highs of the Dow in the past year were ignored by the national news media. But now that it's down, well, let's talk about Donald Trump. Yeah. I'm looking at a headline in the Washington Post today. It's an article, an op-ed written by Catherine Rampel. The headline is this. Is Trump to blame for the market dive? She actually <laughs> writes that, well, she doesn't make him out that he's to blame. She's got lots of other reasons. But the headline says it all. They've linked the president with the stock market dive, as if it is his fault. Just the headline alone does it. Is, I, look, I'm sorry, Brent, but I find that kind of typical. What is, can you name, I mean, let's be very, very objective here. Can you name me anybody who, who's an economist who said the market wasn't going to correct itself? Can you name anybody? Everybody has been saying that because the market always does. Right. When it goes to this kind of a high, it always corrects. Everybody's been waiting. Now, I'm not trying to say this is just all rosy and how wonderful it is that we've lost, what, $4 trillion on the market. No, but everybody was expecting this to happen, and I think it'll go right back. But the bottom line, again, is that if you look at the start of his presidency to now, it's been a meteoric rise, and it's just slightly less than meteoric at this point. Is it legit for President Trump to own the run up? and yet not own the rundown. Well, if you, if you look at, at what economists are going to argue, which is to say that, that the, the, uh, the Fed has, has very, very capriciously kept interest rates low, and they had to go up, and this is the anticipation, yes, yes, yes. But I'm willing to say, I am willing to say, go ahead, pin this on Donald Trump. But you've got to pin everything else on him, which is a mammoth success. And they won't do this. This, this is such, a, such dishonesty. There's just nothing this man can do that he gets credit for. Nothing. You are right about that. Brent Burzell, thanks for being with us on a very important day, sir. We're obliged to you. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Stuart.